Hey YouTube, I'm Maddie's Daddy 12. I'm Jason, and uh, I am trying to take my family on vacation by saving the profits from what we sell on our eBay page and on our flea market booth. And uh, I have been dabbling in the sports cards quite a bit. You know, uh, you guys probably know it was a big hobby of mine as I was growing up. And I'm taking that knowledge the best that I can and trying to move it into uh, some kind of flipping business, you know, trying to make a little money at this. So, uh, you know, I'm trying to take the family on vacation with this and I'm trying to do that with just the profits. And I can't show you guys the profits if I don't show, show you what has sold. So I'm going to spend the next few minutes showing you what sold this week in the world of sports cards. We are starting off a new week, and we're starting off with Chris Bryant. I'm actually really happy with Chris Bryant right now because Chris Bryant is in on my fantasy league, and I was actually able to pick him up in the 14th round of our draft. Everybody had given up on him, and I was like, no, guys, like he's playing some outfield right now, and he is going to be Rizzo's backup, and now he's eligible at all three outfield positions, first base and third base, and, and that's all really cool fantasy baseball stuff, but you guys aren't worry, aren't here to hear about that. You guys are here to hear, or you guys are here to hear that I paid a quarter for this card, and it sold, I had it listed for $2.49, and it sold for $2.10 plus shipping. Uh, for whatever reason, the buyer sent me an offer of $2.10. Uh, not real sure uh, why they were determined to save that uh, that $0.39. Cents, but they did. So, uh, hey, you know, they, they, they saved their $0.39. Cents. And uh, I still uh, made uh, sell for $2.10. So it is a quarter going in. Uh, fees on $2.10 is about 30 cents. So I have about 50 cents into it. So I'm going to make a dollar sixty, one dollar and sixty cents profit on this one. Again, uh, not a real big profit, but a very easy profit because I was able to just copy and paste from somebody else's, a, a sell one like this, uh, on somebody else's listing and made it really, really easy. All right, the next one is right here. It is this Ivan Rodriguez uh, rookie car from the 91 Tops Traded. Uh, Hall of Famer, quite possibly the greatest defensive catcher of all time. Uh, Johnny Bench, hands down, is the best catcher of all time. But Ivan Rodriguez um, is, is probably defensively the best catcher of all time. Uh, and I mean, you can make an argument for Yadier Molina. Um but uh, I, I right now I I still feel like it's Ivan Rodriguez, but uh, I got this at the yard sale. Or I'm not at the yard sale. I got this at the flea market for a dollar, and it sold for three dollars and ninety nine cents. So after fees and the cost of the item, I'm going to make a two dollar profit on this one. All right, guys. The uh, next card that sold is this Miguel Cabrera. Uh, Miggy sold for $4.99. This is one of the X-Fractors from 2018. 2018 Topps Chrome X-Fractor. They do so many different kind of refractors and stuff now. It gets so hard to keep up with it. I actually mislabeled this one whenever I first listed it and had to go back and, and change the name because uh, I had it listed as a prism refractor or something. I don't know. But anyway, it sold for $4.99. This is one that I paid a dollar for at the flea market. So I'm going to turn a dollar into a $3 profit because it sold for $4.99 plus shipping. Right here on top, this Frank Thomas rookie card sold for $3.99. Bought it for a dollar at the flea market. And uh, after fees and the cost of the item, I'm going to make just over a $2 profit on this one. I was always a big fan of the uh, the Big Hurt. It was one of, my, uh, one of my favorites. You know, the numbers that he put up without any, you know, performance-enhancing uh, drugs like uh, we've seen some others. Super impressed with this guy. More Jordans are selling. I'm telling you guys. 
These cards are worth it. Especially if you can pick them up at the price that I pick them up at. If you can get these for a dollar a piece, almost always an opportunity to make some money. Uh, picked up this Jordan for a dollar. You can see it's labeled A. I don't know if you saw them a second ago. There's or labeled B. Uh, there's some other ones in here labeled A. Uh, the ones that are in better shape. Um, you know, I labeled it B. So that way I wouldn't get them mixed up. I go ahead and list both of them at the same time. But bought this one for a dollar. It sold for five dollars and twenty five cents. I had it listed for five. 99 and uh took a best offer of five dollars and a quarter so uh, after fees and the cost of the item i'm going to make a little over well, pretty close to three dollars and fifty cents profit on this one so the next card that sold is a kevin garnett rookie card um okay where are those, those? where are we at Oh, right here. Uh, Kevin Garnett, rookie card. Got it at the flea market for $2. It sold today for $9.99 plus shipping. So it sold for $10 plus shipping. It's going to ship for the $0.91 cent standard eBay envelope. Um, this is uh, Kevin Garnett's rookie card. Uh, you can see there's uh, any of you basketball fans out there. There's Cedric Savalas. Um but yeah, Kevin Garnett rookie card. He was one of my more favorite players. Uh, you can see uh, right there was a Kevin Garnett rookie jersey that I used to wear when I was much younger and much smaller. But uh, this one sold for nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Um, I have to pay two dollars for it after fees. It'd be about a dollar fifty in fees. So I'm into this card for three dollars and fifty cents. So we're going to make a $6.50 profit on this one. And I'm going to go ahead and get it packaged up and get it sent out. All right, guys. I think this next card is back here towards the back. It is. I just recently listed this card. I just recently picked it up. I was up at the flea market, was thumbing through some of the cards in the back, and found this Patrick Wisdom rookie card. So Patrick Wisdom has just come up from the minor leagues with the Chicago Cubs, and he has been tearing it up, guys. So uh, because I've been keeping up with this guy for fantasy baseball purposes, I knew that he was on fire, and I knew that his rookie card, which is a Topps Chrome uh, Prism Refractor, uh, would be valued at much more than the $2 that I was able to get it for there. So uh, I brought it home, realized that they were going for about $13 to $14, listed mine for $11.99, so I listed mine for $12, just under uh, what everybody else was selling them, so I beat them by about a dollar, uh, and uh, it sold in just a couple days. So I have $2 invested in it, plus the fees on $12, so that's what, $1.20? Sick. I mean, it's about $2 in fees. So I'm $4 into it. I'm going to make an $8 profit on this card. All right, guys. The next card is this Carlton Fisk 1973 Tops. This is not his rookie card, even though you can see the All Star Rookie Tops, the little All Star Rookie Cup on that card. This is actually his second year card, but it is the first year of him by himself. Um, you know, I mean, not not in the greatest of shape. You can see it's a little off center, top bottom. Uh, I really need to find a better way of organizing these. They're organized from from the oldest to the newest in the back. But uh, I don't know. Took me a little bit to find this one, but it sold. It sold for six dollars plus shipping. It's going to ship out for that ninety one cent standard envelope, the eBay envelope. So uh, not a whole lot of shipping on this, but. It sold for $6. I got it at the flea market for a dollar. So after fees and the cost of the item, I'm going to make a $4 profit on this. Um, I've seen this card go for a little bit more than the $4, but because like it is off-centered, and as you can tell, that corner is a little dinged. This corner looks good, but you can kind of see that brown on it there. So that corner is just a little rounded. And uh, that corner has a little, you know, anyway, so it's not, it's not in the greatest of shape, even though it, it presents really, really good. Like it looks really, really good. 
So, uh, yeah, guys, going to get this uh, packaged up and shipped out on that 91 cent standard envelope. And uh, we'll move on to the next. All right, guys, I'm back inside for this part of the video. Uh, these cards sold. Uh, this is a, what is that, a 79? That is a 79 Topps George Brett. It's not in the greatest of shape. I got this at a flea market for a quarter out of the quarter box. It sold uh, this, I believe it's 77. Uh, yes, this is a 77 Topps. Mike Schmidt, uh, these are probably the two greatest third basemen of all time. Uh, you can argue for a couple other guys, but Mike Schmidt is, in my opinion, hand down the best third baseman of all time. Uh, this one sold. Uh, also, to the, all the same buyer, the same buyer sent me some uh, some offers on all these. Uh, I got this one at the same flea market out of the same quarter box. And uh, this one I actually got at Consumers Mall here in Owensboro. I uh, got this one out of the 10 cent box. Uh, this one has Hank Aaron, Joe Torrey, and Willie Stargell. I sold another one of the cards just like this, but it was in much better shape. Uh, well, and this one's not in that bad of shape, but as you can tell, it is off centered uh, quite a bit, uh, top to bottom, which will actually would be top to bottom like this. It is off centered quite a bit. In fact, you can even see just a little bit of the next card. Uh, off of the sheet there at the top. But I made $2 profit on this card, $2 profit on this card, and $2 profit on this card. So I made $6 profit total on all of these, uh, and they are going to ship out in the eBay standard envelope, 91 cents shipping, all to the same buyer. So uh, they will all together still fit inside the envelope and under the three ounces. So we're doing good there. So uh, again, another uh, another $6. So there you go, guys. That is what is selling in the world of sports cards right now. That's what, at least that's what I'm selling in the world of sport car, sports cards right now. Of course, I'm selling a lot of the lower, lower dollar items. Uh, I'm not dabbling in a lot of those higher dollar items uh, as far as cards are concerned, just because it's so, it's easy to flip those small, uh, the smalls like that, and uh, it's easy to flip those cards because I can get them so cheap. So, uh, you know, very small profits, but very, very little effort uh, goes into those. I mean, it's still a lot of work. It's still a lot of time that goes into listing all that. But, you know, the profit's there. So uh, I try to try to get it. Um, I did make a pretty good little profit on that Patrick Wisdom rookie card. And to be honest with you, the only reason I knew that name is because I'm playing fantasy baseball this year. Uh, playing fantasy baseball this year... Uh, I came across, and I was in the need of a first baseman. Uh, the name Patrick Wisdom popped up on the, on there, and, you know, that little earworm got set in there. I never actually picked him up, uh, but, you know, that little earworm was in there, and I, I, you know, I knew the name. So when I came across it there at the flea market, I knew that the guy had potential, and sure enough, like, I took the risk at the $2, and sure enough, like, it paid off. It sold for $12.00. Or, yeah, $11.99. It sold for $12. Really good profit on that one. Really happy with that one. Um, other than that, like, I mean, I sold some pretty pretty good catchers this uh, this week. Uh, that Ivan Rodriguez, you know, I said in the video that he's probably the best defensive catcher of all time. But I also sold another all-time catcher in that Carlton Fisk card. That's 73 tops. That's his first card by himself. Um, not his rookie card, but his second year card, but still a really, really cool card. Uh, and you know, I don't know that he's my top five. You, you got to give credit where credit's due. I understand he's a Red Sox, but you know, we'll, we'll give credit where it's due. Um, I don't know my, my list of all time catchers, bench, Yogi Berra, Ivan Rodriguez is probably third. Wow, Yadier Molina. Yadier Molina's fourth. Offensively, Mike Piazza's numbers are so much better than Carlton Fisk. Carlton Fisk may not even be in my top five. Ooh, that kind of hurts to even say that. Because, uh, I mean... Uh, anyway, there you go. Just a little insight into my into my thoughts on the, the best catchers of all time. 
Um, but yeah, so uh, the backstops helped us out quite a bit this week. And, uh, you know, we made $37 of profit in just the cards. Um, not a whole lot of sales in them, but I'm not selling a lot of high dollar cards. So I'm not expecting a lot of profit out of these, just expecting a lot of movement. So, I mean, and I'm getting that. So I'm happy with it. We're $37 closer. Maybe that will buy us one drink while we're at Disney. I don't know. What does what a drink cost at Disney? $37 sounds about right for a 20 ounce drink at Disney. Uh, anyway, guys, I appreciate it. Subscribe, comment down below, show us how much you love us.